Alright, I'm kinda getting sick of all these rogues pointing out the Necrom Apothecary on turn 3 and all these hunters playing their secrets and dealing face damage. So, introducing Yoink Priest, where I'm gonna steal their Apothecary and let it work for me instead of working against me. I also jam some healing in so that hunters can smork me and I have my boy Harrison Jones to destroy their weapons. Beware all rogues and hunters. Yoink Priest is coming for you. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Ho 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 A rogue, eh? Ha ha ha. Um, we could keep Master Spell. Just in case we don't... If he does it really early on, we don't have a way to respond to it just yet, right? I think Master Spell is fine to keep. Just in case we don't get it. Oh god, Chief Inspector. Rogues don't have secrets. I mean, they have secrets, but not like... The gameplay secret. Actually, no, they do have secrets. And cobalt and catacombs. Hmm. So we're just chilling. We're just chilling. Waiting for him to coin out his Necrom Apothecary. Waiting for him to play his. Um. Come on, coin it out. Coin it out, buddy. Just coin it out. Just coin it out. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Play your Necrom Blade while you're at it. Oh, not coining it out, eh? You trying to bait me? You can't bait me. I'm unbaitable. Okay, it's AFK Rogue against AFK Priest. The classic. He didn't even hit me for hero power. Oh, he thinks I'm Quest Priest. That's why he's not hitting me. Ooh. Oopsie. That will be a nah, I'm not Quest Priest. I'm Ruin Your Day Priest. Which honestly is the best kind of priest. Oh, you made a misplay. Get revenge on me by playing Necrom Apothecary. <laughs> oh wait, this dude does this dude just doesn't have Necrom Apothecary, huh? What do you have? Oh, it's for um big bursts of damage. Normally with um what's the card we're thinking of? Anubisath. What are you hiding? He got secret, so we can only punch him in the face. Come on, play your Necro Apothecary, I dare ya. I dares ya. Yeah, he doesn't have it. I kind of wish he drew it. He must feel so unlucky not drawing it. Like, ah, oh, man, if I had my Necro Apothecary here, I'd be in such a good spot. Oh, Hopefully it's not the damage lackey. I hate the damage. You guys know this about me. I hate the damage lackey. The damage lackey is the biggest jerk in the world. Yeah, it's your trade. I don't mind stealing that. But I also don't want to give away the fun, you know, the game plan. But I have Shadow Madness for that. Let me change your mind. Just get some stats on the board. Yeah, because I can just steal the Necrom Apothecary with the Shadow Manus. The funny thing is I don't even get value from it because I only have one minion in my hand. Murazond! The infinite. Come on, give me something good. He might be, uh... He might be Galapron. Galapron list. Silicone oil. That's fine. I might just trade in and heal. My mass resurrection will resurrect mostly crap. What do I get with Psycho Pomp here? Harrison Jones or Evil Miscreant. Why did I steal that unit again? So I will play a Faceless Corrupter if I play Morazon. That doesn't feel great. Let me tell ya. I'll we'll just trade and pomp it. Not bad. Four or five. Four mana, summon a Yeti with Reborn. Yeah, I'll take something like that. He hasn't invoked yet. I'm thinking he just hasn't drawn his invoke cards. I don't have a quote unquote win condition. Even though I quote unquote shoot. Oh, Anka, the buried. One mana Anubisath. That's really good. You know, honestly, I personally. Would love a one mana Anubisath on my team. 
buffing up all my minions. All one of them. Oh, all two of them. Thank you. <laughs> God, I'm such a jerk. Ooh, thanks for the buff, buddy. Uh, he could sap that, right? He could always trade, but why would I trade for him when I can smork him and make him trade into me? Obey. I'm the smorker. Okay, you want to give me any more units? Wait, I don't have any more steals. I need Shadow Manus or Cabal Shadow Priest here. If he saps the 5-9. I just don't like trading, because if I trade with this, I lose 4 damage and a unit. He's always going to use this to trade into me, so why am I doing his job for him? I Don't do the enemy's job for them. That's bad. Make them do their own job. I, I believe wonder. he just has a 1-1 one, one Sky Pirate in hand. This is the card. Swiftly. What's up? Death Rattle Rogue. I Got you feeling kind of razzled. Okay, I like that. Don't touch four. Normally you want to buff it up to like 7-7 seven, seven or 10-10. Ten, ten. But sometimes you gotta play it as a 1-1, one, one, which does not feel great. Haha, <laughs> GG. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. A uh, hunter. They're not... They don't have apothecaries to heal. But... I could like remove its stuff and heal myself. No steal, but heal. Penance is great. I love penance. Can kill a face stalker, which is the big thing. Or a dwarven sharpshooter, which is another big thing. Well, no, what he. I think he can't resist a face stalker on too. It's too juicy. He won't pass it up. Oh, maybe he will. Mmm, he's trying to bait me into not dealing with the face stalker. I can feel it. I penance that, and he what summons a huffer. I cry. Sin. Yeah, I don't like crying. I'm gonna save this for huffer. Look, honestly, with my luck, he's probably gonna summon huffer. I'll talk to him for a it's fine. We're just penancing now. Coin out the uh, water bear. Or maybe coin out the convincing infiltrator, honestly. Depends on what he does. Uh, anything like a face talker, I can just silence. Maybe I should silence that. Psycho pump. Ooh, okay. Then I'm coining this out. Yes, please try and kill him somehow. You can summon your leper gnome, but I'm just gonna master spell them and remove your free fireball. I can play convincing infiltrator. Ooh, you're gonna you're gonna hurt my water cow. It's a cow who wants to bring water to people, and you're gonna kill him. That's, I gotta say that's uh, that's a little messed up, Mr. Hunter. It's kind of rude, in fact. Well. You're gonna pass your turn, which is totally fine. Um, it could be Freezing Trap, which would be a little annoying. So I'm gonna play a Taunt, I'm gonna chill for a bit. Yeah, I need to test for Freezing Trap first. That is job numero uno. Okay, that's why I'm gonna draw me off little maggots. Oh, okay, he's gonna get more of them. Can do a massive spell here. Which would remo remove essentially a fireball worth of stats on from the board. Which that's annoying if it's freezing trap, right? Stat wise, yeah, he's gonna Let summon another round. We'll mind. just take this for now and we'll use it to pop the freezing trap. Or we could just double silence. I'll silence one of them. <laughs> Zero mana, save two health. That seems pretty worth it. Once I test the secret, I'll be okay. Or I don't need to test the secret if I draw my chief inspector. 
make my life easier. We are uh, at a standstill. The face hunter who has dealt zero damage by turn six. And the priest. What you gonna do, buddy? You can't hit face. The damage gets negated. Could trade off the one one. It might still be snake trap, but honestly, at this point. Alrighty then, you made a play. Good for you. Oh, there's the chief inspector. You got a license for them secrets. Welcome. What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> I was freezing trap. Yeah, cheeky little boy. Well, you ain't got license for that. GG's. Ho ho, a rogue. You're approaching me? Okay. I'm well, down to keep one silence just in case I don't get my uh, removals in time. Yeah, I should just bank one silence just in case. Like if he coins it on three and he's gonna kill it. Um, should have a solution for it. The Harrison Jones is nice because they usually want to uh, save the Necron Blade and Dagger up for a bit. Love the feel of wind in That's these tails. Little annoying. Maybe I should run two Breath of the Infinite in this deck. Maybe no Mass Resurrection. Ooh, stab. That's fine. I was going to hero power anyway. Alright, let me guess. Coin Necrom Apothecary. Do it! <laughs> we don't have to silence it now. Let's silence it right when he plays his Necrom Blade and he wants to get fat value. Ah, oh, you attacked in, dang! I was so prudent. Coming up on his five drop turn. Hmm. I'm doing this so like there's a good chance, there's a better chance of Harrison value. Although I may be walking into a trap here. By a trap, I mean overdrawing myself. Actually, no, I won't overdraw. And he top deck Necron file. Okay, I gotta say, this did not go as planned. <laughs> um, hmm. Now, honestly, these units are all buffed up already. What's another plus three, plus three? Who runs Necrovile on that list? Chat, you gotta believe me. I was set up. I was set up, chat. I was so set up. Okay, just catch it. Lessons learned, some of them run Necron file. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Hunter can't steal, but can heal. So. Let's see it. I'll keep Forbidden Words just in case he plays uh, the Dwarven Hunter on turn one. It just cost me one mana to kill it. I should be looking for the healer. Like this is removal, but I think healing might be more important. You know, not dying is kind of kind of good. We do like not not dying. He's hovering his card, so they're taking their time considering all the options. Do I want this card that deals damage to face, or do I want this card of dealing damage to face? Apparently, he wants all the card. Ooh, that's a good draw. Sand Hoof Water Bear is you slap it down against the face hunter, you just win. Although it could be Highland the Hunter, in which case we got big problems. Okay, this hunter just might be AFK. Okay, he's taking this time. If he's cracking on one, he just did not have good options. Tracking though. You don't normally see tracking. That's a turn one play. Okay, he's legitimately roping, huh? Hmm, it could be a bot. Bot are sometimes coded to rope to trigger their opponents into leaving the game so they can get a free win. Like, if he's playing cards 
at the same junction each time. I think he might be. Oh, never mind. Okay, finally stop roping. I think I realize I'm not about to leave. Give him a free win. What kind of hunter is this? I'll take the two draw. That belongs in a museum. Not the greatest weapon to destroy, but I don't know if he'll have, have anything better. I don't have a win condition per se. But will he have Ooh, Leoc. That's a good order right there. Mm. We could just play convincing infiltrator. We shouldn't be punished too hard, right? Or we could just psycho pomp a five four and pain that. I think that works too. The end begins. That belongs in the this is free damage, right? Free real estate. I use this or this? Probably this, because uh, Forbidden Words is more flexible. We want to res convincing infiltrator, right? The damage from him isn't that high, though. It's only two damage. Doesn't put on so much pressure. Any units I can steal from a hunter? I'm thinking it might be, um, what's that hunter? Highland Hunter. He's played one copy of each card so far. He's drawn a lot as well. Reduce the cost of a random beast in your hand by 5. That is very frightening. That is extremely scary. What random beast do you have? That sounds like a meme deck. Okay, he's drawn 3 beasts, right? With Master's Call. Can you OTK with Scarlet Webweaver? A random beast in your hand by 5. You can reduce King Crush. And then he makes copy of the Reduced King Crush for an army of Reduced King Crushes. King Crush Eyes. Oh god, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out! No! Oh, never lucky! That belongs in a museum. This guy's toast is a little worried. The heal on this is nice though. Cause he's he was gonna use this to trade into that no matter what, right? Guy I know he's gearing up for some kind of super omega punch you in the face play, right? My face? Not my face. Okay, whatever that beast is, it now costs zero mana. I gotta say I'm freaking out just a little bit now. Okay, res, res, please, res. I want my convincing infiltrator alive, because if you slams down a super king crush, because you can just trade in and hit, right? Yeah, we don't want that happening. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Yeah, should have killed command in first scrub. Nah, actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because his kill command wouldn't have been able to kill it. Okay, I feel like I need a taunt. Like, this guy is kind of freaking me out. Yes, yes, please. I don't know what beast he has that caused zero mana, but I am scared. Hold me. Yep. Oh wait, he has four beasts in hand? Zero mana Tundra Rhino. Zero mana Dread Raven. So is a Dread Raven OTK deck? He has two Okay, okay. All the cards that was gonna be reduced have been reduced. This mass is there to clear the board. Mathematically, I wanna say no. Mathematically. 
I don't know, maybe my math is wrong. He has two more BC copied. But we've seen both beasts have been reduced. It was the Dread Raven and the Rhino, huh? Who was playing an OTK Dread Raven deck? Okay, Master's there at Thursdays, right? Huh. What do Wait, the I have a plan. Say? We can be the Dread Raven Master. Alright. Who's this? This cost three, six. We place two copy of it. This goes to nine, right? So he has one more Dread Raven in hand, right? Because he copied the Dread Raven. Oh no, he's gonna trade. You're not supposed to trade. You're supposed to leave the Dread Raven up for me. No, you fool! I'm supposed to be the Dread Raven Master. You fool! You fool! I was on your side. I don't think there's a hunter ability that kills me from 10 health, is there? Okay, that's just now. Oh my god, if you had another kill command. Ho ho ho! A little too close. I like that deck though. Very creative. Dread Raven OTK. I think he could have killed me if he just was a little more patient, right? Okay, a rogue. This time I'm not gonna make the mistake I made, which is to leave up uh, mm, a neck from Apothecary. That was uh, a bad idea. I have learned my lesson, and I ask only to be forgiven for my sins. Thank you, thank you. Aha, he doesn't start with coin though, which means I should be able to stop his Necrom Apothecary no matter what. Ideally. Oh, he's not heading in. That's surprising, because rogues don't normally have a play on turn 3. Unless he wants to play a Wisp into a Miscreant. Which also doesn't feel very good, because if you have the coin... If you have the Wisp, you rather just use it on your Necrom Apothecary. Okay, please don't wisp into Necrom, please, 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 Oh, wait, this is bad. He can activate his, um, Apothecary without me being able to stop him now. Uh, He'll need a one drop into the Apothecary, right? I mean, at the very least, I can retake the value, I suppose. Because if he can activate it, he's just going to slam it down. Slam it down with some brown. I hope you like my invention. Sand hoop water bear. We don't need that. We don't need that at all. Let's just play this. He's got no one for him to kill. He can use a backstab if he wants. But then he loses his necron blade. There's no backstab. A tactical error. Oh, did you forget to backstab first? That's okay. Mistakes happen. We're gonna get Harrison Jones. We can stop this insta combo. He's really kicking himself for not backstabbing first, huh? It's okay, buddy. Everyone's made that mistake at some point. The novice engineer. I don't see that normally in the death rattle rogue mm. list. He's thinking about it. This is a real head scratcher. Dude, it was just a missed backstab. It's okay. You don't have to rage quit. Like, I can't believe I've done this. I'm trash. Uh, I don't know if you needed to rage quit over it. Oh my but my simple. <laughs> oh my god. I hope he feels better. Alright, a rogue. <laughs> and I start with the coin. <laughs> Alright, please relax. 
Alright, first things first, making sure we have a silence so we just don't instantly die to, um, I don't know, wait for him to activate it easily. Master Spell's good, but he shouldn't be able to get his Necrom Apothecary out until turn 5, unless he's running, like, a Wisp and he's gonna kill his own unit with Backstab. He kept 3 cards, that's a good sign. Keeping 3 cards means, uh, big, big, big Necrom Apothecary <laughs> possibility. B -b 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 big How can it hurt me, Mr. Rogue? It's not very nice. Alright, you have no mana left and you made the only one play you could this turn. Could you Yeah, thanks for passing. Appreciate it. What a nice guy not rogue me. That's a really cool thing to do. Rogue on turn three is probably just gonna hit me and hero power again. Love. And look, he kept three cards. This has to be some kind of Necrom Apothecary shenanigan. It's just gotta be. He's gonna think I'm Resurrect Priest. Then. I it. Oh, I oh no, it might not be. Oh god, is it Highlander Galakron Rogue? Oh no! That deck is way harder to deal with. Shiza. Oh, big Shiza. Big Shiza. Come on, just play one dropping in Necrom Apothecary. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yes, play one drop into Necrom Apothecary. Do it. Do it. Do it. Today you shall learn the follies of your follies. I only have one minion in hand, but whatever. Let me change your mind. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I mean, this buff is useless for me. I have one freaking minion. But it denies all the minion on his side, so that's something. Secret? Oh, God. What secrets are you keeping from me? What's Flame Ward? Three damage to all enemy minions. Got it. How much is this worth to you? He double trades and uh, that would be Oh, he's trading no. over there. No. Love the feel of wind in me sails. This would be vape niche. Very possible to be vape niche. Could it be mirror entity? Very possible it could be mirror entity. Just a lot of possibilities here. Yeah, this is such a good minion buff, but somehow we didn't draw any minion. It's fine. I will act as your scale. Oh god, it's Galakron and Death Rattle. And Highlander. It's everything. Oh, that's really good for me. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. It might be Spellbender, so I'll Penance first. In fact, that's even better. Oh wait, yeah, I can play Breath of the Infinite, right? You shadow stepped it. Okay. Hmm, my hand's looking kind of full here, buddy. Hey, give me that. Uh, do I risk a overdraw here? How do I use breath? I don't want to use penance. Okay, we're just gonna overdraw. Ah, breath shouldn't be that good. Nah, he has sky pirates though. He could flip the board, but that's not necessary. Maybe should I should just. No, I want to keep silence. Ah, uh, could still be mirror entity. It's kind of annoying. He wants to upgrade his Galatron fully. I can mill him somehow, but then I have to deal with Alex Raza. I gotta deal with Alex Raza, so I need to save my big board removals. He's gonna keep getting value from infinite Galakron lackeys. Man, I really wish I had the breath card right now. Psycho Pomp. Who do we have that's dead? Loot Holder. Ooh, that'll give us a lot of cards, which is good. So we should do this first. 
The end begins. Let me change your mind. Oh wait, I played that card. Shit, I did. That was vaporize. No drop for you. Damn, I was kind of hoping for Loot Hoarder. We need some value in this deck. Loot Hoarder would have given us um, two cards off that. And we have a lot of big stuff left in our deck, too. It's okay, we have silence. God. I'm gonna trade his entire team into this. Not. Mm, we can silence it, just Shadow Word Death it. And heal this up. I wonder. Probably vaporized though. Or flame ward. This is a tough decision. Right, we'll give him time. No matter what, we can always just attack him first. This cannot. Is this a difficult decision for you, sir? Oh, he was overcome with decision paralysis. But I'm not wait there. Obey. I'll just use her to trade for now. Attacking face is kind of pointless. So if he has Galakron and Highlander. We have two Mass Hysteria and one Plague of Death. We have to be very conservative with these removals. Who knows when's the next time we're going to get removals. I mean, there's pretty much all the removals in our deck. We gotta deal with lackeys as well. That's fine. No! Let me change your mind. No. I want to. Life and hope are okay, that's fine. If he overcommits, we can just wipe it. A good explorer comes prepared. We can steal that. That seems pretty fun. They damage each. Oh my God. Those are some big guys. <laughs> what? Oh no! <laughs> oh wait, no, the each dragon attacked the small one. Oh no no no! I I guess it was a possibility. I just didn't think it actually happened. This egg on my face. Holy crap! I'm gonna take 16 damage here. Eh, so that's, that's, I mean, uh, there's a chance I don't take 16 damage here, right? If the trade goes correct. Say mass hysteria clears the board here, but uh, that's what I said last time. <laughs> I think the play is to still mass hysteria, right? It takes a miracle for me to lose this, like an actual miracle for me to lose this trade. <laughs> oh, 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 god. Oh, you got the Cronker, huh? This might still be vaporized. I really need to test that. Okay, so he's gonna play Galakrond for sure. He's gonna get four cards that cost. Oh, two cards that cost. Zero. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I could be Galakrond. But do I want to be Galakrond when I can be Tracer? But I'm already Tracer. Wait, did I? 
Wait, you just saw me steal your unit, and then you're gonna let me steal your unit? Remember me stealing a unit? It happened really recently. Wait, I need to test for um, fate, right, Obey. or fate ward, or whatever. Oh, yeah. That is fine. It's a rogue, and he played both his zero mana cards. So you can have Let me change your mind. Okay, look, his mind has been changed, ladies and gentlemen. It is like it's been flip flopping so much with all the times it's been changed. That is hilarious. <laughs> Take that neck from apothecary player. GG's. Well played, well played. I'm doing my part in purging the roads and hunters. Lights out.